city of mine how i love how i love the city hi friends welcome back to cooking with aubrey or if it's your first time thanks for joining us today we are going to make uh, fried chicken sandwiches i love fried chicken sandwiches problem is it's really hard to find like a really good one you know so i was like Let's do it. I've never even made a fried chicken sandwich. Can you believe that? So I was doing some Googling like fried chicken sandwiches, you know, as one does. <laughs> and I've decided I'm gonna go the brining method. So we're gonna begin by brining the chicken right now. Let's get started. For the brine, it's going to be super easy. So it's just going to be four ingredients. We're going to do equal parts vinegar and water. I'm using apple cider vinegar. If you just have regular old white vinegar, that's also perfectly fine. Not a big deal at all. And then I'm gonna grab a half cup of water. So with the cider and the water, I'm also going to add in some salt and sugar. I'm going to do two teaspoons of, or maybe I'll just do one teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna do one teaspoon of salt. I take that back. One teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of sugar. Okay, I'm just gonna double all this. this. I don't think it's gonna be enough liquid. All right, I'm just gonna, okay, so we're just gonna do a cup of each. Um, cup of apple cider vinegar, cup of water, and then add in another teaspoon of sugar and salt. So now I'm just going to put this brine a mixture on the stovetop and bring it to a boil real quick um, just so we can dissolve the um, salt and sugar. So for the brine, the reason why we're brining the chicken is so that the chicken is more tender and it's more moist. So I'm, you know, right now it's like about to be 9 a.m. in the morning. So later on tonight, um, that's when I'm actually going to fry the chicken up. You at least want to brine for like at least a couple hours, but you know, overnight, is like best. I didn't feel like going to the store last night, so I'm just doing it. For the chicken, I'm going to use Farmer Focus. I love this brand. I've talked about this brand many times before. The reason why is because this brand is super transparent. The meat industry is not transparent normally, like ever, and the meat industry sucks, okay? So Farmer Focus is actually a a reliable brand to to buy from and they are unique where you can actually put in like your your code on their website and you can see exactly where your chicken is coming from so the code for this one is red B and the chicken today comes from Sugar Grove Virginia from Bradley he um, uh, what is the name of red red something I don't know red 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 bud red bud acres okay he raises his chicken on red bud acres and he prefers farming chickens because I guess chickens are easier to like, for like, skip, like they're more flexible. They're not so demanding. I don't know, maybe cows are more demanding or something. I don't know. I know nothing about raising livestock, but apparently it's more flexible according to Bradley. So Bradley enjoys raising chickens and his kids are learning how to also raise chickens. So thank you, Bradley. I'm going to enjoy these wonderful <laughs> chickens today. Um, but yeah, so I just got thinly sliced chicken breasts. I wanted to use thighs, but they had, at first time today, they only had like chicken thighs and drums like mixed together. I was like, well, I don't want the drums, so I'm not gonna even bother. But preferably I would have preferred thighs. So if you're buying from the store, I said get thighs. Instead, I went with the chicken breast and I got the thin slice. The reason why I would prefer thighs is because they have a little bit more flavor. I got the thin slice because so that way they, you know, cook up easier while we're frying them. Otherwise, I would have had to cut them myself and I'm a lazy person and I don't want to cut the chicken myself. So they did it for me. I hear, I hear the brine bubbling away, so I think it's done, All right? The brine has come to a soft boil. Everything is dissolved. Smells good. Like steam my face, open my pores up. No. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put this brine in the freezer um, for a few minutes so that way it cools down faster um, because you don't want to put the chicken in the hot brine because then it's going to start the cooking process of the chicken and that's no bueno. So I'm just going to put this in the freezer and then be back in a couple minutes. So the brine was in the freezer for like 20 minutes. I put it in this big old bowl that I'm gonna just put the chicken in with. That way it just 
cools down quicker. And the reason why the brine helps like the chicken be more moist and juicy, moist and juicy, same thing, moist and tender. <laughs> It's because it actually helps break down the protein in the chicken and it like by osmosis kind of um, injects more moisture if you will. Chicken or any protein will actually weigh like more after it's in a brine because there's now like more like liquid inside of it. Okay, so it's literally just in the brine like this. I'm going to just put this in my fridge and then today, like around four or five o'clock-ish probably, I'm gonna go ahead, take it out and we're gonna fry it up tonight and I'm really excited. So I gotta wait a long time to eat my chicken sandwich. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back. So now it's like, I don't know, like almost four o'clock and we're gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of these sandwiches. So first thing I'm going to do is cut up some onion, or not onion, the shallot. Shallot's kind of like garlic and onion had a baby, meat shallot, and then some tomato, and we're gonna make some sauce. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. So we've got our tomato and shell here that we're just going to set aside. If you are enjoying this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I know that a lot of y'all are watching these videos and enjoyed them without liking them. It was confirmed earlier today. I just heard that a friend of a friend enjoys watching my videos and yeah, they have never liked a single one. So if that's you, please like the video. Thanks, love you. For the buns, we are going to be using Dave's Killer Bread because y'all know I'm a bad word for Dave's Killer Bread. <laughs> trying to stop swearing on these videos. Anyway, I don't think it's ever gonna happen. Anyway, I love the, the name of these buns are called Burger Buns Done Right. I've actually never had their burger buns, so, but I'm sure they're delicious because I love all their products. Anyway, so we're gonna use those buns. We're gonna toast them up with some butter. Buttery buns. So for the sauce, I'm going to be making the same sauce that I made for that hangover sandwich video. Oh, I'm making a lot of sandwiches lately. I love sandwiches. If I had ever opened a restaurant, it would be a sandwich and soup shop, just so y'all know, fun fact. Anyway, so, but I love that sauce so much that I've literally been making it so much. If you watch my story, I made this really, really good salmon sandwich with that sauce, so good. Anyway, so I'm just re- Making that, it is literally so simple but so good. It's mayo, ketchup, and relish. And it's the bee's knees, you know? Um, of course, I'm gonna have the recipe for the sauce down below. Um, I just realized something. The reason I don't know, I've never had these buns before is because it's a new product. I was in the store, I'm like, I was like, how have I never tried these before? That's so odd. I always go for Dave's Killer Bread first for everything, and then I go elsewhere if I can't find it with the Dave's Killer Bread item. That's because it was new already. Gosh. I've just got some oil heating up in the back, so when we're ready for the chicken, now it's time for the moment I've been waiting for. So the chicken has been brining for seven hours okay you know it has changed color a little bit don't worry that's normal i'm just gonna pat these dry so that way all the brine is off of this and this brine you definitely want to toss out because you can't really use it again i mean i guess yeah you don't want it just throw the brine out just toss it on out so i'm just gonna pat these dry and then we're gonna coat it in buttermilk and a flour and cornstarch mixture Handyman just interrupted my filming, but that's okay. I'm having issues with my shower. He's here to repair it. For the breading, we are using all-purpose flour or AP flour and cornstarch, onion powder, and salt. So we're gonna do a flour, a flour. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do a flour. 
We're gonna do a cup of flour, okay? If I can talk correctly. And then we're gonna do a quarter cup of cornstarch. Now, adding the cornstarch is gonna help give it that nice, beautiful crunch that we're looking for, right? Or that's what I'm looking for. This, like what I'm envisioning in my head and what it's actually gonna be, I don't know. Some onion powder here. We're gonna do like a tablespoon of onion powder. We wanna season the, the breading so that way the breading is just as tasty as everything else. And of course, y'all, it's gotta be properly salted. So let's start with, I think just a teaspoon of salt will be just fine. Teaspoon of salt, perfect. Now we're just gonna mix this all up together, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I am so weird. When I go back and edit this footage, y'all have no idea how much I cut out of this. You know, comment down below if you like a bloopers reel of like all like the weird stuff that I cut out that you guys have no idea I even did. So we're not going to use egg for this breading process. So it's not gonna be the standard three, um, three step breading process I, I usually do. So instead I'm actually just going to pour some, but maybe I should have shook this a little bit more. Okay, there we go, that's better. Basically, what we're gonna do is coat the chicken in the buttermilk and then the flour mixture and then fry them babies up. Fry them up like hotcakes. Okay, so all the brine is off, right? We're gonna do a little bit of that. And then you wanna make sure, so it's best if you dry your hands off like in between so you don't get like caked with all this flour and buttermilk, yeah? Um, but you wanna make sure that this chicken is nice and coated because you don't want any missing spots on your, on your chicken breast. So it's gotta be coated real nice-like. And don't mind this note. I mean, I, I write notes on my hands a lot. Um, so I don't forget to do things and I want to read someone's dissertation. So that's why it says dissertation on my hand. Yeah. Um, I know I shouldn't be doing that, um, but I don't care. I've been doing it since high school. It's fine. All right. So got first, oh wait, I missed a little piece. Get coated. All right, cool. So I'm just going to repeat that process with the rest of the chicken breasts. All right, so now we have the, the chicken done. So do not drop this in the oil from really high. You will burn yourself. If you drop it high, the oil will splash high. So you put it in low like this, okay? Please be careful. I'm just gonna do two at a time. I have this pre, the oil preheated on low medium heat and we're just gonna cook it through until it's done. Oh my gosh, look at this. These babies are done. All right, so the chicken is done. Um, if you hear anything in the background, that's just Mark the handyman, just ignore him. So I've got, look look how beautifully toasted these buns are. Okay, so I just toasted the buns um, on the stove top with some butter. So I just preheated a pan on like medium heat and then I buttered the buns and toasted them. So we're gonna do a nice thick layer of sauce. I hate when places skimp out on the sauce. Like the sauce is just as good if not as good as everything else on this damn thing. And I want a nice, look at that. Like if it's not running down the sides, there's not enough sauce, okay? Oh, just look at it. Just, oh, the cheese, God damn it! I get the cheese out. Almost always forget about the cheese. This is also leftover from the hangover soon. <laughs> I think I only got like, oh, I literally got just two pieces left, yay. All right, so I'm gonna put that right on the, the chicken there. We got, we got that good amount of sauce up on there. And then now we're gonna put the shallot on. I like a good amount of shallot. You know what I mean? Get some tomatoes on there. Oh yeah, look at that guys. Look at that. Look at that goodness, oh my gosh. And now we're gonna put our chicken up on there. Let's see, yeah, our chicken. Oh yeah. That sauce just running down that side. Oh yes. I've been waiting for this moment for some. I've been thinking about making the sandwich for like two months now. So I've really been waiting for this moment for a really long time. Do you hear that crunch? Oh my God. 
It is so good. Wow. I'm going to try just the chicken. Y'all, you really got to try this. This is everything I want in a chicken sandwich. It is super crunchy. Chicken is cooked perfectly. It's so nice and juicy. Got that nice amount of sauce. This bun, of course, is delicious. Why wouldn't it be? It's Dave's Killer Bread. And then you got that little bit of tang from the onion and then the nice juicy tomato and then the creamy cheese. And then, oh, just everything, it just works together. So look at it dripping. Yes, that is a sandwich done right. You have an incredible rest of your day. And thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time.